In today's video, I'll be making my honest review about this Hisense Inverter AC 1.5 horsepower. And as someone that has used both inverter and non-inverter AC before, I feel like I stand a better chance to make a review about this inverter AC and also make some comparisons between inverters AC and non-inverter ACs. Now, in case you haven't seen how inverter AC looks before, let me conclude. Now, for every inverter AC or for every high sense inverter AC, you see right there at the indoor unit written inverter. Why at the outdoor unit you see written inverter expert? Now, if I come closer, you can see all here are the key features that come with high sense inverter AC. You can see that right here voltage protection. You can see energy saving and cost saving. You can see long distance airflow. You can see frequency control 10 to 150 this and you can see all here are different features that come with high sense inverter ac 1.5 horsepower now if i turn my camera up you can see here i also what well, is how it looks inside you can see it right so in case you haven't seen how an inverter ac looks like so this is actually a split unit ac because it means that it has two units this very one here is called the indoor unit, while the one outside is called the outdoor unit. This one is the one that brings coolness to your house, while the other one outside is like the working room that contains the compressor and the fan, and also filters the cooling air back to the indoor unit, and then emits the hot air outside. It's getting freezing. You can see that all here is the water that has splashed on the ground or on the floor. You can see it, right? Now, in comparison, what makes inverter AC different from non-inverter AC? Number one big difference is the energy saving. Inverter AC was designed to save energy because the compressor contains thermostat, whereby once the AC has getting cold to some level, the compressor can always go on and off, just like a fridge. You know, once fridge has attained some freezing level, the compressor will always go on and off, so to say, it contains thermostat. But unlike non-inverter AC, for non-inverter AC, the compressor just keeps running as long as the AC is on. So, you know, once compressor is on, it consumes more energy. So, for that alone, it makes inverter AC different from non-inverter AC. Okay, now, another difference between inverter AC and non-inverter AC is that Inverter AC was designed to function in an area whereby power supply is unstable or is shaking because inverter AC has or was designed to have a stabilizer inbuilt on it unlike non-inverter AC. For instance, if you live in an area like mine whereby power supply is not stable, the inverter AC compressor can be able to handle the power supply's instability because the compressor was designed to be crook or it was designed to always adjust according to the power supply or according to the power instability. Unlike non-inverter AC, whereby a compressor doesn't like stress. So any little fluctuation in power supply can get your compressor damaged. So that alone is another difference between inverter AC and non-inverter AC. But there is one good thing I have known with non-inverter AC, and the good thing is that from my own experience using inverter AC and both non-inverter AC, non-inverter AC contains enough coldness more than inverter AC. Like for instance, if you own an inverter AC, it takes a lot of time for the AC to get very cold and circulate around the room, unlike non-inverter AC, whereby once you own it, almost immediately the AC begins to cool everywhere. And also non-inverter AC contains or they have more coolness than inverter AC because the compressor is always running. Unlike inverter AC, whereby a compressor contains thermostat and it keeps going on and off. Understand? So to say, the inverter AC is not or it doesn't contain enough coolness unlike non-inverter AC. Like what I mean is that if you mount inverter AC in your room and you mount non-inverter AC in your parlor, the non-inverter AC is always or it contains that freezing, you know, that kind of chilling, unlike inverter AC. So to say, non-inverter AC contains enough coolness more than inverter AC. That's another key difference between inverter and non-inverter AC. But I feel like in today's economy, whereby everything is hot, 
power supply is hard in some areas they use ban a energy for me i will always recommend inverter ac because not as if they are not cold they are cold but that less energy consumption is a key it's very important for to this economy because it saves you cost it saves energy and the compressor can handle power instability unlike non-inverter ac so right here is the outdoor unit on my inverter ac you can see that it's running you can see it right now one good thing about this is that compressor for inverter ac contains thermostat whereby once the ac has gotten to some chilling or to some chilling or to some freezing level the compressor will stop at some point it gets on again on and off on and off you can see right you can see that right now it's getting freezing you can see that all here is the water that has splashed on the ground or on the floor you can see right so after some time once it has attained some chillness this fan will stop moving means the compressor has stopped you can see as i said for every high sense inverter ac at the outdoor unit you will write right here inverter expert so any inverter ac that you can find this inverter expert means it's not an inverter ac this is how the outdoor unit looks like And now for the energy consumption, you can see right here is a specification. Let me turn my phone upside down. You can see right here, right? Now if I come right here, you can see that this energy, this um, AC, you can see that nominal power input current, it needs 1,230 watt energy for it to function. Understand? But I feel like for non-inverter AC, it contains a bigger watt, which means that it consumes enough watt unlike inverter ac you can see this is how it looks at the other side so you can see it right now right now the light in my area is very very low that they can't even pump borehole or let me say at where i live just a few of us that use inverter ac that enjoy light or that enjoy ac because the AC can always handle or function in area that has low power. You can see that right now the light in my area is so low that we don't have water because the borehole cannot get pump or the light can pump borehole. But you can see I still use my AC till now, even though light is very very low. So that is one good thing with inverter AC. But for non-inverter AC, I can guarantee that that AC can never function in this very low light. You can see but for me i see it's my inverter ac right now and you can see that it consumes very low or less energy and right now my room is cool like it's chilling inside right now like very soon the compressor outside at the other units will get off